the video i'm about to play for you is a very shocking very shocking video the details are quite surprising celestial prophetess she's mentioning names in this video of great men and women and how they will be purged out or taken out of the church you know the church has actually uh, come of age we know the story of the church uh we know it even as people started seeing uh disciples doing as jesus was doing and then they started calling them christians we know how that journey came to be and where now it is the current church so there has been a lot of scandals here and there there's been a lot of uh, exposés here and there and uh we've seen uh there's been also a lot of sicknesses that has been ongoing in different churches so according to prophetess she feels and thinks that this could be one of the reasons why so let us just watch this video and see of uh, the crazy things that are happening currently and how they are affecting us as a church but also just to pay attention to even the names that she's mentioning so after this after her prophecy will get back and then we can just uh, discuss it in more detail scandals and money scandals and who stole whose baby and things like that then we have to ask ourselves how far away have we gotten from the early depiction of the church and is this why we are sick is this why we are immoral is this why we are so worldly and we look exactly like the world is this why we are such compromisers is this why we scatter abroad the lord's efforts to build a powerful church instead of gathering with him why are we the ones who are scattering abroad instead of gathering with the lord as he told his disciples leave them alone if they are not scattering then they are gathering with me don't trouble those men just because they're not a part of our group of 13 the lord is going to purge the church and the purging process is going to be very painful, both for those who get purged out and for those who get to remain after the purging out. When the purging out is happening, a lot of you are going to be going through what feels like a heart attack phase because God is going to take away all your favorites. You're going to be able to wear that little hat with the net many times as you go off to bury the Bryants and the Jakeses and the Myerses and all of them. You will have so many funerals to go to and so much crying to do and so much existential angst. And God has said in this prophecy that many people's faith will be affected, which just goes to show that your faith was never in the Lord Jesus Christ. It was in John Gray. It was never in the Lord Jesus Christ. You were only vicariously enjoying Jesus Christ through T.D. Jakes. And so when T.D. Jakes is removed, many people are going to feel as if they've lost their roots in Christianity because they're, they're literally not going to be able to plot a continuous course because their precious bishop has been taken away. And now they will feel as if their reason for being in Christianity has been taken away. And that is just pathetic because T.D. Jakes never died on the cross for anyone. The only person who paid the perfect sacrifice for all of us is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. We are supposed to be following him. We are supposed to know his word for ourselves. We are supposed yeah. to give honor to the fivefold minister, whether it be an evangelist, a teacher, a prophet, a pastor, or an apostle that the Lord has placed before us. But we are mandated by God to be, excuse me, please, a church so well taught that when the minister goes off key, when he begins to sing wrong lyrics to us, we're supposed to know. We're supposed to be able to say that's not right. That's not adding up somehow. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't see that in the Bible. The Holy Spirit is telling me that this minister is compromised. This minister is not preaching the truth. We are supposed to be equipped, but many of us don't know the word of God for ourselves. So when somebody's preaching a lie, when somebody is preaching a leavened up lie, meaning that they mix up a lot of lies and then they sprinkle some beads of truth in it. And the truth is in there punching it out with the lies in a sermon like Stephen Furtick telling people it's all right if you curse. I'd rather you curse as long as you keep growing. Where is that in the Bible? Is that first or second Furtick? If there's, if there's no word in us, we have nothing to contend against the enemy with. And so when the enemy is standing in the pulpit, what is the church to do? The church is not doing anything. The church is sitting and getting devoured by the wolves and saying, preach, Papa, go deeper. 
reveal everything prophetic Google, as they call some of the pastors in Africa. And so we're in a conundrum and we're in a mess and God is going to come and purge us with two things that we will discuss in this prophecy, none, none of which are pleasant. Refiner's fire and the fuller soap are coming to the church. Extreme revelations, full exposure, and greater embarrassment than can ever be remembered being experienced in the house of God. The scandals of the past will look like nothing compared to what will be seen on the evening news concerning the church, and morale will be at an all-time low as God cleans up his house. Shepherds and flock alike will be exposed by the Lord for their deeds, crimes, predilections, and falsehoods, and the world will see God's church in its most vulnerable position and will pounce. Commentary will be merciless both from within and outside of the church, and many people will become demoralized and leave the church over the things that will be revealed. No details will be spared, and the media will have a field day with church scandals. Not just one or two, but many multitudes, hundreds and thousands of leaders in the church and the people who work closely with them, that inner circle, will be exposed. There will be so many scandals, exposés, open discoveries, and secret intrigues brought to light because the old guard are on their way out to make room for the new ones that God is raising up. The old are on their way out. And if the church of Jesus Christ doesn't clean up as this process takes place, then Fuller's soap and the very harsh refinements of the refiner's fire is going to do it for them. And so you're hearing the word of the Lord and I will now go back and we will begin to break this thing open so that no one can so, say that. So you just had that right, right? So uh, she's saying that uh, the old, actually the men of God who have been there in service and uh, you've heard she's actually managed to mention some of the names, just say the Jacks, the Bryans, the Myers, uh, and even uh, she's mentioned Steve Fartick right there. And if you've been watching her prophecies, definitely there are the men of God here. She's mentioned as well. Even she has a, in reference, she hasn't said it in word really. But right there, we all know that uh, even from Revelation Church, that is from Prophet Lovi, uh, they always call him Papa, Papa. So you've heard her just mention Papa. We know Passion Java even, uh, and the followers say that as well. Uh, they're like Papa prophesy, and you've heard her just mimic that. She hasn't mentioned their names really, but from just the explanation and talking about Africa, definitely, uh, there's uh, definitely she's just talking about them. So. She's saying clearly that uh, the old, the old, when I'm saying about the old, is like the men who have been serving the ministry. But they are going now to be taken out. And then now God is raising other men of God. So I'll say that is a bit confusing to me. The reason why I'll say that is that uh, since the year 2020, there has been other prophecies from different men of God. Like, for example, in the same year, 2020, when uh, actually Pastor Chris gave a prophecy, and in the prophecy, he said that uh, the church age, he said that this is the last, actually, uh, church age. They, this is the last church. Let me just say this is the last church. And then he gave a prophecy of the rapture, saying that um, he gave a three-year, six-year, and he said that whatever happens, it should not exceed 10 years mark. So that was 2020. So if you look at it 10 years, that was supposed to be around 2030 that the rapture of the church should have taken place. So if we're going by that prophecy and that prophecy was actually confirmed by different men of God, uh, we've seen that different men of God who are respected as well. So they came and uh, actually confirmed that. So if, if that is the prophecy that we are going by, then how come she's saying that uh, God is raising other people, that God has time then to, to actually remove these old and then now come up with the new ones? I don't know, because if, if you see currently we're just like six years to 2030. So how will that all, all that just take root within 
within actually six years because i'm looking at it if um now from the prophecy was that this is actually the last church and then now from that prophecy is that from here definitely we are going to meet jesus in the air as the bible says now the rapture of the church and speaking of the end times because we've been seeing uh, a lot of these scandals and these exposés everything because the bible also speaks about a lot of persecution to men of god but also speaks about false uh, false false prophets and false everything all the false people who will just be mentioning jesus but anyway they are not all about jesus so that is how i i i, I understood it but now with this latest prophet of where the, the, this latest prophecy of where she's saying that um speaking about now a new church that is actually being developed it's it's i don't know i don't know how that sits with you i'd like to know what you think about it on the comment section that is just my own opinion my own opinion is that uh, according to the prophecy that was made um 2020 is that this is the last church so if this is the last church then is there another church that now is coming all over again so that one it's, it's crazy it's crazy i don't know i don't know i don't know so i'd like to hear what you have to say about this in the comment section what do you think about this prophecy not forgetting um she's just said that there will be a lot of funerals funerals of these as uh, she called them favorites favorites uh, men of god that there will be a lot of funerals of the favorites so that is one way of that they're being actually taken out that is one of the way so what do you think about these uh, prophecy by celestial prophetess don't forget to give this video a like hit the subscribe button and see you in the next